Today begins the ice cream tournament of the ages. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. All around the country, there's an event that begins in the month between February and April where college students play a game with an orange ball in an elimination style tournament. From our understanding, it's an absolute month of mayhem. And while this very litigious organization has their fun, we've created our own exciting and non-copyright infringing elimination style tournament that has absolutely nothing to do with orange balls, right. but instead, ice cream. Yeah, last March we ate 32 of the most popular cereals and crowned Cinnamon Toast Crunch as the overall cereal champion. And this year, we're gonna crown the queen of the cream. Welcome to day one of an ice cream competition that will span five episodes of Good Mythical Morning. In the end, only one ice cream will remain standing. It's time for Take It To The Scoop! National Ice Cream Tournament Chocolate Region. Behold our hugely humongous, deliciously delectable ice cream bracket board, AKA the Bracket. Oh yeah, you lift the lid Ooh, and so the flavor cold. smoke comes out of the corner. As you can see, each of the four quadrants or regions represents a category of store-bought ice cream. We've got chocolate, we got vanilla, we've got fruit, and we've got miscellaneous. And we're beginning with 32 competitors, which we already narrowed down from 64 with your help. We did that by compiling a list of the top 16 ice creams in each category based on sales stats, online sentiment, and mythical crew surveys. Mm -hmm. And then 45,000 of you, more than 45,000 of you voted via Facebook and Twitter on your favorites within each category. And that brought us to eight ice creams per category. And today we're gonna go through the chocolatey region. Now just to clarify, chocolate ice cream qualifies, even if it has other ingredients, as long as the base is chocolate ice cream. Let's meet our top eight seeds. We've got Ben and Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie. Briar's chocolate. Hagen dazs chocolate peanut butter. Baskin Robbins peanut butter and chocolate. Hagen dazs chocolate. Blue Bunny super fudge brownie. And ben and Jerry's fish food. And Blue Bell Rocky Road. Okay, we're starting with the top ranked seed in this category with 23,997 votes. Ben and Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie versus the lowest ranking seed with 7,974 votes, Briar's chocolate. That is a lot of votes. Now for this and every category and every matchup, we're gonna be assessing taste, mouth feel, oh. distribution of ingredients if there are any, and overall joy of the bite. Now joy before we bites. get into joying this bite, <laughs> I just want to acknowledge the comments of our 17th of that episode where we ate all of the Ben and Jerry's pints and rated them. Um, you know, people said that I was a little inconsistent and overcritical with my scores. But that was not a surprise to anybody. I acknowledge that. Uh, and that doesn't matter anymore because we're doing the tournament format which completely eliminates that that problem. Okay, uh, Briars is, is a classic brand. You feel like you can count on them to give you like a high quality joy bite. Let's dink it and sink it at the top here. Ooh, and I, I love I mean, how it's, it's just melted a just a, a little. It's a classic chocolate flavor. This is chocolate fudge brownie. So it's got chocolate and fudge brownies. Not chocolate fudge and brownies, but chocolate and fudge brownies. There's a difference. All right. Mm. Oh. And the chunks mm. of brownie are big. Look at that. That's a big chunk of brownie. I'm sorry to pull that out of my mouth, but I just had to. This is the first flavor that we tested in our Ben & Jerry's thing, and I gave it an 81, mm. you gave it a 72, and I think it was just because it was the first one, we didn't know what we were doing, but it definitely, I mean, this is a good solid ice cream if you just want chocolate. Yeah, but, but when you want that extra chewy, party in your mouth, chocolate packed goodness, this has to move on. This is easy, chocolate fudge brownie moves on. Oh yeah, Chase, yeah. oh you're on a step ladder. I am on a we step ladder. We can see further up your shirt from that angle. You look oh. super athletic. That was an athletic move. Hey! <laughs> okay, now we've got a peanut budding of the heads with our two middle seeds. The fourth seed with 9,588 votes, haagen chocolate peanut butter versus our fifth seed with 9,414 votes, Baskin-Robbins peanut butter and chocolate. Now, we, I think we're gonna like these. Cause we, we, yeah, we love peanut butter in our ice cream. And my mama would get the haagen cause she thought it sounded fancy. It turns out, Hagen dazs doesn't mean anything. It's just made up. Even the peanut butter distribution oh. looks similar. Oh my gosh, look, I got a peanut butter gold mine. Oh, you did? I'm not gonna eat all that, but I'm going in for the. Mm. Mm. 
Did you get a peanut butter bite? Mm, I got a lot of ribbons. That's good. The peanut butter comes through so aggressive. Oh, what, oh. You just, yeah, take, just pe shave, shave peeling it right off the top. And I'm gonna get like a, a strip mine. I'm gonna get a very, they're gonna say like a stripper. Mm. Um, wow, these are strikingly similar. Mm -hmm. Whoa though, whoa now though. The chocolate in this comes through more. These are both very, very solid, but in my mind, the smoothness of the chocolate on, from Baskin Robbins and also the chocolatiness of it is better. Seriously? You were gonna say that the hot The peanut was... butter is stronger here and the, the chocolate, oh, give it know, another hold taste. Hold on, hold on. I, you know what I've totally forgot about? The peanut butter is I a lot. I forgot about there's the a, peanut butter nugget. There's That's a right, chunk. I got the giant peanut butter nugget out of this one. And let me tell you, the chocolate is markedly better from the Hagen dazs man. There's no denying that. That's smooth though. But, it's smoother, but, I, but it's I'm airy. Willing, there's a lot of air. I'm totally willing to be You're swayed. tasting, you're getting the consistency of but air. I'm about to agree with you. If you keep talking, I'm gonna go the other way. Um, I just want you to be right. The size and the chunkiness of the peanut butter, I think makes it, because this is chocolate peanut butter. So I'm gonna go with the Hagen dazs as well. Sending it through. Chase, do that before Rhett changes his mind to just teach me a lesson. Oh my gosh. Chase's butt just knocked down four other containers. How did yeah, you, but I look good. How did you hit <laughs> so many? Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, every Saturday we drop a new two-man vlog over on the Rhett and Link channel. So go over there, check it out, and subscribe while you're there. Also, follow us on Instagram, at Mythical. Every day this week, the crew's gonna be holding their own tournament, yeah, to determine the best ice cream topping. All right. I thought they would cheer, but. Yeah! They're working. Okay, next up. We got Seed 3 with 10,910 votes, Hagen dazs Chocolate versus Seed 6 with 9,169 votes, Blue Bunny Super Fudge Brownie. So let's just dig into this Hagen dazs Chocolate. So this is just like the Hagen dazs Chocolate without the peanut butter. It's a good chocolate. It's a good chocolate. It's a real good chocolate. It's a good chocolate. Now, I'm not gonna argue with we're that. We're in a similar scenario as round one here where now, is, is this as good of a chocolate plus fudge brownie? The fudge pieces are, are kind of hard to find. I like things to be a little bit complex. So when you add brownies to regular chocolate, I'm gonna go for it every time. I hate knocking that haagen off because it's a really good chocolate. This blue bunny's gotta move forward. The blue bunny jumps ahead. Watch yourself, Chase. Do it like a bunny, Chase. Chase doesn't know how to be a bunny. <laughs> He's never done that. I just made him jump on a ladder. I'm sorry for that. Our next matchup is a number two seed with 11,050 votes. Ben and Jerry's Fish Food versus our seventh seed with 7,990 votes. Blue Bell Rocky Road. Now both of these have marshmallow, um, but the fish food also has fish-shaped chocolate chunks and caramel. You gave this a 21 during our Ben and Jerry's Fish uh, Taste Test, I just want you to know. It's really, if you get a caramel pocket, that's all you're tasting. Rocky Road was my favorite ice cream flavor growing up before I was introduced to other roads. And it's got some almonds in there, of course. Something. It's nice. I like going down that road. This is this minus the nuts plus the chocolate and the caramel. Ding, 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 ding. I don't understand, but I agree. Math. Fish food moves along. Do it like a fish fan. <laughs> All right, next up, we got the number one seed chocolate fudge brownie versus mm -hmm. the number four seed Hagen dazs chocolate peanut butter. Now, when I eat Please ice cream, I like to don't. smush it down. Well, this is, we're eating ice cream. And right then, now. that's the thing, we're both eating ice cream. I can find, you can find some goodness that wants to pop out that way. Mmm. Mmm. I eat the ice cream and Please, then I get the. No moaning. Get the fudge. <laughs> this is the overall number one seed. I get it. But. but this has peanut butter and it is the most expensive ice cream that we're eating today. I gotta find those peanut butter nuggets. Mm. I just love peanut butter. You ever been gold, gold mining? I bought a sack of rocks at the state fair one time and then ran some water over them. Yeah, isn't this just like that? Exactly. <laughs> this is like getting a this, sack of rocks at the state fair and running water over it. This is so good, but it's chocolate on chocolate. It's like a joke on a joke, you know? We're comedians. Oh, no, you think it's a joke? It's a hat on a hat. It's Listen, a hat on a hat. I think that this is super solid. This is this is just a pairing like no other. But like there's two, something about the two fudge. Two guys eating ice cream, that's what this is like. There's something about the fudge brownie that isn't what it could be when stacked up against peanut butter. Yeah. 
And this is, it's, it, it is it is smooth, it's growing on I wanna on go back in there. Chase, move the peanut butter along. Hold oh, no, on, you sure about this? Yes. We're, this is I the know overall it's, number one we're gonna piss everybody upset, off. But we love peanut butter, it's just a magical complexion. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to do it, we're moving it along. All right. Yes, and I'm not gonna apologize. I am gonna apologize just a little bit, so don't hate us. Now we got the six seed Blue Bunny Super Fudge Brownie versus the two seed Ben and Jerry's Fish Food. All right, let's go into this. I touched your finger. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll just grab it for you. <laughs> That's a good ice cream. It is good. Chocolate on chocolate, but still. I think I can't... might like the fudge brownie in this better than the fudge brownie in Ben and Jerry's. If that sacrilegious to say, I'm sorry. I, I do not. You don't like the fudge brownie? It's smaller and it's a little harder to find, but that's not what we're judging. I'm just talking about the flavor. We're judging it with the fish food, my friend. There's a lot of marshmallow, a lot of caramel. I mean, the chocolate is shaped like a fish, man. That's workmanship. As much as I like the taste, I can't eat it without picturing a fish concert. Like I, like I just picture a bunch of sweaty hippies and it's just, I, I, that's the, it's not appetizing. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm just, it's just I want to. I kind of want to get All on right. the outskirts. This that. is. I cannot deny the variety here versus that, but uh, that just means we need a tiebreaker. Okay, here we go. Please welcome the superstar of fixing cars. He puts the swish swish and ship ship, and he's no octogenarian. It's Gorgon Zargarian. Woo! There he is, chipped it. Chipped it, chipped it. Hey, Gorgon, come on over. Yeah, right here in the middle, man. Hey, Gorgon. Always oh, glad oh, to have oh, you, oh, man. How are you? Hey, man. <laughs> Sit down right in there. Now, um, we had you waiting in the wings. Um, for, oh, you're going. Okay, yeah. Oh, there you go. I'm big man. I'm big man. <laughs> hey, let's get settled. You said I'm a big man. Yeah. I'm still in your taglines. Oh, hey, we, hey we, there could be two big men around here. <laughs> Definitely not three. <laughs> Important I'm between two legends for the good medical morning. No, you're the legend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Okay, you're going to tell us which one of these you prefer. Maybe this one is okay. I check it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah check, check it. it. If you yeah. haven't seen the commercial that we made with Gorgon, mm. you should. What yeah. do you think about that one? It's, it's hey, good. Hey, good. <laughs> you got the chocolate, you got the fudge. Now try this spoon and uh, the it's fish fish food. So, so you got some. It's a free, right? <laughs> it's yeah, definitely free. free. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna charge you for it. So that's got some chocolate, some marshmallow. Very hard to say which one is better. Yeah, both maybe. is perfect. Yeah, they're both, both really is perfect. Good, right? But which one tastes like sweaty hippies? In five, four, three, three two, two, one. Which one do you choose, Gorgon? <laughs> oh, that's right, Gorgon. The Blue Bunny Super Fun Brownie. The Blue Bunny forward chase. sneaks under the fence. So you don't, like, you don't like marshmallow? I feel something inside. It's, it was so delicious. Just, just fudge. <laughs> yeah. Fudge. Yeah. There's delicious fudge. You said free. I, I can eat it. Yeah, you know yeah. what? You can take it with you. You can hang out back. <laughs> <laughs> take, take that with you. All right, our final matchup is an unexpected battle of the middle seeds. Ooh. We've got the Blue Bunny Super Fudge Brownie in the six seed and the four seed haagen Chocolate Peanut Butter. Gorgon couldn't take his eyes off this stuff. Like I saw it in his eyes as soon as he ate it. Hmm. Uh, I mean, there's nothing to complain about when, when it's on its own. I haven't had a big nugget yet. Hey, you know what? I don't want to. Just take that. Okay. Mmm, mmm. You gotta know how to get a get a chunk, man. That's like a scoop of peanut butter in your mouth. Y'all know what's gonna happen right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I told you I like this fudge brownie better than the other fudge brownie, and it's true, I do, but. I don't. Um, it's no competition for the haagen peanut butter. But either way, it's going to the frozen finale. Chase, boom. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Look at the athleticism. And he slammed it. Yes. Wow. That was the best part of this whole episode. Yeah, I agree. Well, the Gorgon part was pretty awesome yeah, it too. it was. Okay. Be Thanks. sure to come back tomorrow because we're gonna be determining the winner from the fruity ice cream. Yes, and thanks to Gorgon for being a part of this, and thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm a Zumba instructor from New Jersey, and I just finished teaching my class, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You don't look sweaty enough. Zumba! Click the top link to watch us guess car air freshener scents with Gorgon and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality's gonna land. Can you see anything? No, I can see. Oh, there's, there's something up there, man. 
something in the distance. 